Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at 5 exciting changes happening in the month of February in Animal Crossing New Horizons. January might have been one of the duller months in the game, but rest assured there's a lot more going on in February that you can get excited about, including a new major event, lots of new items to collect, and also the snow finally disappearing from our frozen Northern Hemisphere islands. So if you're excited to check these changes and updates out, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. Number 1. Festival Festival is the main event happening in February which introduces Pave, the event's host, and a whole bunch of new items to collect. You'll be able to collect items related to this event from the 1st of February until the 15th when the event actually occurs. This includes new furniture items from Nook's Cranny as we've seen from previous events, as well as a set of 4 new reactions from Nook's Cranny as well. This is the Viva Festival reaction set which includes Feeling It, Let's Go Viva Confetti. At this time you'll also be able to purchase new clothing items related to the event from Festival, so make sure you head out there and go after those limited time items whilst they're available. The new Festival set looks really cool so I can't wait to get my hands on it and you can get it in a whole bunch of different colours too. Of course Festival falls on the 15th in 2021, but the date tends to change from year to year. Festival is all about collecting feathers for Pave using your net. He's bound to be thrilled to see you collect a bunch of different feathers for him and will give you some exclusive items in return for your hard work, so make sure to check this event out when it falls on the 15th. Number 2, Lunar New Year. This isn't a major in-game holiday, but it's a nice little event that includes some unique dialogue from your villagers as well as Isabel too. The day before the event, your mum will also send you a letter including something from her set. In the previous games, this event was only available in Korea, but now players around the world can enjoy it in New Horizons. This time, it falls on February 12th, so make sure to log on to your game that day so you can check this mini event out. Like with Festival, the date of this event changes from year to year, so sometimes you might experience this event in January instead, and most likely on a different date completely. Number 3. The Snow Disappears the snow will start to melt in Northern Hemisphere Islands on the 24th of February. For those of you who are just so sick of the snow like myself, this is probably the most exciting change happening this February, as spring will finally be returning to the game and the grass will be green once more. Kind of. The grass won't actually be green right away, instead you'll have to enjoy this sort of faded brown kind of colour for a little bit. Still, it's a huge improvement upon the snow in my opinion. With the snow disappearing, this also means you will no longer be able to catch snowflakes, nor will you be able to create any snowmen, so make sure you do all of this and get all of those seasonal DIY recipes that you need to get before the snow melts away and is gone until much later on this year, next winter. Southern Hemisphere players won't have too many DIY recipes during summertime, so they can look forward to a ton to collect when fall finally happens in their games pretty soon. March is definitely going to be an exciting month in the game, so I hope you're all as excited as I am. Before we continue with more exciting February changes, I just want to give a word from my sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. Do you like books but prefer the words as noises inside of your brain rather than on paper? Audible's got you covered with tons of original titles. Even if audiobooks aren't your thing, Audible has podcasts, theatrical performances, A-list comedy, and even exclusive Audible originals that you can't find anywhere else. Audible is also offering their new Plus catalog, which all members have access to. The Plus catalog has thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, and so much more which is all included with your membership. Audible members also get one credit every month, which is good for any title in the entire premium selection of bestsellers and new releases, regardless of price, for you to keep forever. My personal Audible recommendation is Why Bowie Matters, an incredible audiobook about David Bowie, one of my favourite musicians. Even if you aren't big on his music, this is absolutely captivating and tells the story of one of the most fascinating musicians and influential musicians to ever live. As someone who loves music with all my heart, I had to give this one a try, and it was really great. Visit audible.com slash crossing channel or text crossing channel to 500 500 to start your free 30 day trial and get access to all of these great audiobooks and so much more. I want to thank Audible for supporting my channel and the content I create here, and I hope you'll check that link out in the description. Number 4, New Seasonal Items. February brings a whole bunch of cool new items that you can get via the Nook shopping menu, including the Setsubon throwing beans which are a new type of holdable item which allows you to toss beans around your island, as well as the ogre costume for the event from the Able Sisters until February 3rd. The Megaphone, another new type of holdable item will also be available via Nook shopping, 
and as well as the American football rug until February 15th. An item to celebrate the Chinese New Year will be available from February 10th to the 17th, coinciding with the Lunar New Year event happening on the 12th. You can also get an item to celebrate the Korean New Year at the same time. A cute little Resetti model will also be available until the 2nd of February to celebrate Groundhog Day, which is an item that I absolutely love. With all of these new items available, you'll be wanting to check your Nook Shopping app out or the terminal in Resident Services frequently so you can unlock all of these brand new items. From February 1st to February 14th, you'll also be able to get the Chocolate Heart and Rose Bouquet Heart items from the Nook Shopping menu to celebrate Valentine's Day. It seems like these items will be available in a wide variety of colours, so be sure to check the Nook Shopping menu to get stocked up on all of these different Valentine's items. Number 5. New Bugs, Fish and Sea Creatures A new month means new bugs, fish and sea creatures available for you to catch. The Northern Hemisphere can expect to see the Tiger Beetle make an appearance. The Rajar Brook Birdwing, Damselfly and Dung Beetle will all be leaving after February, so catch them whilst you can. Southern Hemisphere players can now catch the Migratory Locust, Rice Grasshopper and the Walker Cicada. Be prepared though because a ton of bugs are leaving after February, which are the Common Blue Bottle, Brown Cicada, Robust Cicada, Giant Cicada, Evening Cicada, Cicada Shell, Jewel Beetle, Blue Weevil Beetle, Scarab Beetle, Drone Beetle, Saw Stag, Miami Stag, Giant Stag, Cyclomatus Stag, Golden Stag, Giraffe Stag, Horned Dynastid, Horned Atlas, Horned Elephant, and the Horned Hercules. That's a lot of bugs. No new fish for the Northern Hemisphere, but the Pond Smelt and the Blowfish will be leaving, so catch them whilst you can. For Southern Hemisphere players, you can now catch the Soft Shell Turtle, Moray Eel, and the Ray. The Killifish, Frog, Giant Snakehead, Napoleon Fish, and Squid will all be leaving after February though. Northern Hemisphere players can't expect any new sea creatures sadly, but the Sea Pig, Oyster, Sweet Shrimp, and Venus's Flower Basket will all be leaving. For the Southern Hemisphere, the Flatworm will become available, and the Vampire Squid and Sea Pineapple will be leaving. That's a lot of different bugs, fish, and sea creatures, so make sure you head out there this month and catch them whilst you still can. I'm sure many of you are close to completing your encyclopedias, so definitely go out there and catch all of them, and be sure to donate them to the museum. I'm really glad that a lot of exciting stuff is going on during the month of February. January definitely felt pretty underwhelming, so I'm glad there are more events and more exciting changes happening this month that we can hopefully all enjoy. I'm excited to make even more videos about all of the changes and events that'll be happening throughout this month, so keep an eye out for those and make sure you've got channel notifications turned on to check those out. If you want to help support me and my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to become a channel member and a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, such as exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts, and so much more, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, show support, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. You can check out my links and my merch in the description, and two Animal Crossing videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching.